by Lou. He was a great one. Introducing first the manager, Elizabeth. From Sarasota, Florida, weighing 236 pounds, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Randy Macho Man Savage. Soon to be entering the ring area from Union City, Tennessee, weighing 225 pounds, the Birdman, Coco B. Where? Holy mackerel, you can feel the excitement in the air as this capacity crowd goes bananas as Coco Beware and Frankie make their way down to the ring here this week on Wrestling Challenge for a non-title matchup with Randy Savage. It's a shame, Garo, when your only friend in life happens to be a pigeon. Well, you can bet that he's got plenty more friends. It's not a pigeon, incidentally. It's a parrot. It's probably a pigeon with uh, tempera paints on it, watercolors. Take a look at him, one of the most exciting uh, individuals today here in the World Wrestling Federation. One of our beautiful federettes with a big smile on her face. That bird talk? I suppose it does. So why don't you go over and uh, try to have a conversation with him? I don't, wouldn't talk to anybody to have anything to do oh, with Oh, look at that! Macho Man does a number on the Birdman as he tries to enter the ring. Pulling out all the stops, even though this is a non-title matchup. Randy Savage not wanting to take any chances with this young. Look at, he's still got his ring rolled on. Double axe handle to the back of the neck, and Coco's in a lot of trouble. When's he gonna take his ring attire off, Bobby? How would I know that? I'm not in the ring. You think I know everything? Yeah. I, I realize I'm a brain, but I, there's some things I just can't help you with, my dude. Unbelievable. Had an opportunity early on to speak to the Macho Man and ask him if all these title defenses were wearing him down and taking a toll on that body. Vulnerable? Vulnerability? I'm impervious to pain, and the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion is going to go on and on and on for thousands of years. What a dreamer. Thousands of years. Who does he think he is? Methuselah? Well, I'll tell you, if you see enough of him, you'll feel like you've been watching him a thousand times. It's such a treat. Reigning Intercontinental Champion Randy Savage, two count only, as the Birdman sneaks out the back door. Finally got all his ring attire off. Oh, look at Frankie coming to life. The Birdman going bananas as Coco is doing it all here on Wrestling Challenge this week. Wow, big roundhouse right. Can't sends the champion down. Can't believe it, the people like this bird. What do you mean they like? Of course they like it. He's exciting. Drop kick right out of nowhere. Champion flat on his back in the center of the ring. Look out. Coco on the top turnbuckle. A little bird action. Bombs away coming up. Oh, what a drop kick. Over for the cover. No, he's got his foot in the ropes. The mark of a champion. Saved by putting his foot in the ropes. That's the mark of a champion. Those are the rules, Monsoon. He's taking advantage of them. Oh, maybe one of your champions. You certainly, never went to the ropes? Certainly not one of mine. Look out! An attempt at a high cross body. And <laughs> Savage nowhere to be found. That bird may take off pretty good, but it lands pretty hard, don't it? He took off right over that top rope. Never touch a thing. Hard down under the floor. Look out! Savage now perched some 15 to 18 feet above him. Oh, he got caught on the way down. Right in the lower abdomen. Everybody's in this shot, including Frankie. Frankie don't even care. Oh, look at that. He just rammed Savage's neck right into that steel railing. And now into the steel post. Should be disqualified right there for that. Both men could well, in fact, be counted out here as they both spent an awful lot of time outside that ring. Coco wouldn't let Savage get back in. Please. We're gonna have to wait for the decision here as Savage, not too happy with the outcome of this match. Let's get the official word. The official decision on this bout, a double count out. Ah. Just as I expected, both men outside the ring for an awful long time, double count out, but still, Tremendous showing here by Coco Beware. I have good news and bad news. 
The bad ahead. news is there wasn't a winner. The good news is we still have Savage as our Intercontinental Champion. Well, even if he had lost right in the center of the ring, he still would have been champion. It was a non-title matchup. That's what I told you, Monsoon. And Coco still wants a piece of the champion. Let's go back and take a look at the high flyer here. Watch this beautiful drop kick by Coco. Oh, Wamble, what a shot. If he hadn't been closer to the ropes, that would have been over, Bobby. Well, he's a mark of a champion. He knows where he is all the time. One of the few times we see the high-risk move missed by the Intercontinental Champion, Randy Savage. Now look at this. Rammed the throat first right into the steel barricade. Well, I have to say this. Randy Macho Man Savage has never missed coming off that top rope. Right now, wrestling fans, it's time for wrestling rebuttal time with Ricky the Dragon.